pain, hip pain, and the inability to squat. That's why you're here and you need some help with it. Guys, I'm Dr. Tank, Dr. Michael Tansini here at Grand Over Red PT. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Daily Body Armor. Today we're coming at you with another way to bulletproof your body and be your best self. So let's jump on in. Remember, if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you never miss a way to bulletproof your body and see what we put out for you on a daily basis so that you can stay in the gym, continue to crush it. So let's dive on in. So now we're going to be talking about the interaction between the spine and the hip here. Okay. So a lot of you guys might be dealing with a lot of hip pain or, or, or some lower back pain, which is preventing you from really being able to get down to the bottom of the squat the way that you really need to. Uh, maybe it's pain in the front, maybe it's pain in the back, maybe it's pain kind of like back in this upper glute, lower back area. Um, often happens with squatting or deadlifting, uh, and um, you're looking to get it fixed. So one way we can do that, okay, is let's take a band. <clears throat> let's put it right around the low back, and you're going to hook it through the hands. Okay, F from here, <clears throat> you're going to have your knees directly up underneath of the, uh, of the hips, okay? You're going to press yourself away from the ground, and you're going to notice this band's going to want to pull that spine into the extended position. You're going to squeeze the abs tight, so trying to pull the ribcage down, and you're going to push your back up against that band, okay? F from there. We're going to focus on the hips. You're going to hold that tension in the band. And you're going to do a hip circle. Okay, so you're going to go forward, bring it out to the side, create a circle. Bring it all the way down. Keep on pressing into that band. And then bring it down and around. Okay, what... What we're working on is the ability to control the midline, get the abs working so that we can actually train the hip and improve the strength and mobility through that hip uh, through a large range of motion, but without getting compensation from the back. So many of you, if you're having trouble with those issues as you're doing a squat or doing a hinge, right, it can manifest itself in that pain. If we can work on addressing here, getting this stable, teaching you how to work the hip on that stable middle line, you're going to feel way better. So guys, this is Dr. Tansini. Give this a try. Grab a band. Hey, join us tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel. And let's keep you moving. So guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Dr. Tank. See you next time.